Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk to you guys again about synchronization between the Terramaster NAS affordable platform and third party cloud providers. There's so many ways in which you can take advantage of cloud storage and although you're not going to use it as your primary means of backing up all your data because if you're like me you believe that NAS is far far safer than third party cloud platforms for a number of reasons but Having a multi-stage cloud backup is incredibly useful and the ability to synchronize some or all of the files on your NAS, encrypted of course, to a cloud platform cannot be understated. Now we've already done Google Drive in a previous video and today I want to talk about Dropbox. Now with Dropbox on Terramaster NAS, up until recently there has always been a dedicated Dropbox application to synchronize your Terramaster NAS and a Dropbox synchronized storage area. However, in the most recent version of Terramaster's operating system 4.1.04, they've introduced the Cloud Sync app. Now, if you head to the application center and go to the beta applications, you'll find it right there along with a bunch of other new apps for you to try out. To install it, you literally just click the install button there, and after that, it will install the app there. If you open it up, it will then invite you to select which cloud provider you want to use. I want to use Dropbox. Click next, and then it will open up an API window where it will contact the Dropbox account. And if you're already logged in, you will see this screen. If you're not logged in already, it will invite you to enter your login details to your Dropbox account, and then this window will appear. Click allow to allow the two platforms to be able to communicate and two further pop-ups will appear asking you to confirm the synchronization between these two platforms. Click agree and we can move on to the next stage of the synchronization. Now before we continue, it's worth highlighting the importance of something like this. You, although I do strongly recommend that people utilize NAS as their primary means of storage, you always have to have a backup in place. And if you're backing up phones and other devices on the go to a NAS device, but nowhere else, chances are you don't actually have a backup. Because as soon as you start deleting the files off of your phone, your iPad, your laptop, your MacBook, your whatever, you've no longer got a backup. You've only got one copy of that file on your NAS. And having a multi-stage backup solution is incredibly important. Utilizing third-party cloud platforms with loads of free space on offer, you can create small packs of online data that allow you to synchronize your NAS with these cloud platforms. And maybe not the whole NAS if there's not a lot of space, but those core irreplaceable files, such as personal memory files and photos for business that you can't afford to lose. Utilizing these cloud platforms that are completely for free, you get affordable means in which to create a multi-stage backup of the most important files, with the added bonus that with uh, encryption uh, and zipping abilities of files on your NAS, once you back up these files to the online cloud, <clears throat> they are useless to anyone that happens to steal them from Dropbox, Google Drive, or any of the online hacking platforms, but at the same time, still allow you to open them on your local NAS and local system. So, once you've created that synchronization, give it a name, we're obviously just going to call this one Dropbox. From there, uh, choose a, which folder you're going to synchronize locally. In my case, I'm going to go with a public folder, click confirm, and from there, select the cloud directory. Now at the moment my Dropbox doesn't have any subfolders but if it did this is where you would be able to select subfolders. From here you can talk about the kind of synchronization between the Terramaster NAS and Dropbox. For example you can allow it to have a bi-directional backup which allows you to create two areas of storage so your NAS and your cloud platform and these two platforms will be in constant synchronization delete a file from one and it deletes the file from the other. If you're sharing folders and files with clients and family, this may be, of attract be attractive to you simply because you only want them to see finished products and not versions of files. Alternatively, if you want to be able to synchronize these two platforms, but you, you use one of them regularly to edit or back up a device, such as using uh, the cloud to back up your phone, uh, Chromebook and more, or your MacBook, or alternatively you're backing up to the NAS, these two options allow you to constantly synchronize only one of the two platforms. 
then that device, if you make deletions on your cloud platform, it will ensure that although you make deletions on your cloud platform to make space, so you delete all the files on your Dropbox, the files will still be backed up on the NAS and not overwritten, thereby allowing you to delete regularly from your cloud platform, but every single file will always be kept in the long term. This same level of synchronization can be done the other way around too, to have a folder on the NAS that you can delete files from, safe in the knowledge that they always exist on the Dropbox platform. For now, I'm gonna go bi-directional just to show you that how easy this is. From here, it will ask you to confirm the settings you've created, a bi-directional two-way synchronization, in my case, between the NAS and my Dropbox, and if we click confirm, it has now created that synchronization. In the side here, we can then also look at the different folders that we're synchronizing, as well as create different settings and rules that ensure that, for example, synchronization won't slow down the rest of the bandwidth by limiting the amount of speed available between your NAS and the cloud platform. We can change the rules of that synchronization, as well as the number of files and how the files are backed up. We can look at a history of backups over time to make sure they've all done well. And if there is a failure of a backup, it will appear here in the notifications area. With this side, with the Cloud Sync app, you can create multiple synchronized third-party cloud platforms, allowing you to take advantage of lots of small pockets of cloud storage online. And I do recommend you try that out if you are on a budget. But this has been how to synchronize with Dropbox and your Terra Master NAS. I recommend it for just those core files, to be honest, and make sure that you've got encryption enabled in the control panel and the storage pool and volume area. But I'm going to wrap things up here. If you've enjoyed this video, click like to keep these videos coming. Click subscribe to learn more about NAS. And I'll be moving over to the Microsoft OneDrive platform to show you guys how that's done too. Otherwise, cheerio, and I'll see you next time.